Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla. Tesla. Everybody know who Tesla was? And aluminum Little foil. foil. All right. He was on Dancing with the Stars, right? He was. Stop it. <laughs> that was his son, <laughs> Steve Tesla. <laughs> he was electric. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right. There's your there's your end of video bonus clip. <laughs> Nikki, Aaron, Lincoln, and myself, Dave, are going to play Mystic Paths, a game that's even better when you say the title like this, for two <laughs> to six players, published by r and Games, and designed by Kevin Warden and Brian Leet. So, let's follow some Mystic Paths. That's right, I didn't think of anything clever. Hey, Dave. Yes, Lincoln. <laughs> You're very serious. Will you teach us Mystic Paths? I will. Mystic Paths, a game of magic and wizardry. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm filled with a sense of wonder. That is the theme. We are apprentices in a school of magic. We have to take our final exam in this like enchanted forest. There are all these portals that we have to like either unlock or seal. I can't remember which, but they've all got these like magic words on them. And to do that, we have to we have to silently communicate to our fellow apprentices the portals that we want them to seal or open for us. I can't remember. <laughs> and we're going to do that based on we all have one of these oh. blue cards. And don't show anyone else, but, and they all have a path on them. I'll put one over here. All right? And it's all, it's all numbered one through 10, okay? This is a sample path over here, and let me put it there so you can look at it. And this is a different sample path that shows that the route can turn on itself and double back, mm. okay? Um, it will never do that immediately. Okay. So um, if it does that, it will be at the very least, here's the closest loop it can be, which is a five to an eight in that regard, or wow. a one to a four. You're never are gonna come back to the space you sure. left. Right. Okay? So those are some sample paths. And then these are some sample portals over here, and just for sake of showing it, they're double-sided so that the game has playability as far as how we just put these in randomly, but. So um, we all have these uh, tokens in front of us that are numbered 1 through 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the other numbers on the other mm -hmm. side. So functionality, it's nice, little design thing. And we all have a hand of four cards. These cards have two words on them, like so, all right? And you're going to use the card for either side, whichever one helps you the most that you think. So you'll have essentially eight words to choose from. So if this were my path, right? This is where I start. I'm starting here on Hawaii, all right? And the thing you need to know is whenever I'm you... I'm fine, Dave. Whenever, whenever you move your person to whatever the next path is, don't cover the word because yeah. everyone needs to see these words. So my start space is either going to be here, here, here. You all know that. I know it's here. So what Because I'm, this is relevant to you. Correct. You are the start space. That is correct. Okay? So... Yes, these are all completely relevant to you. You decide at the beginning like how this works for you, and then that's it. So you don't have to play your card upside down, for example, to be relevant right. to the board. They're, they're oriented towards me, where my wizard is Correct. going. And looking. So what you're going to do, the game takes place in five rounds. And for the first four rounds, we're going to put out clues for our next three spaces in our path. So my next three spaces are Cabbage Patch Kids, to April Fool's, that's right? Yep. Cabbage Patch no, Kids. No, no, it's not. It's to this. To that. Look at it to George Washington. Washington. Cabbage Patch Kids to George Washington Toothbrush. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to look at all my cards, and I'm going to try to figure out which one of these is Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> all right? So I would probably go with Playful in this yeah. case. And what you're going to do is you're going to cover the word you're not using with your number. George Washington is next. So let's do, say, compose. I have no idea if that'll work. I'm not <laughs> looking for false positives at this point. Yep. And then for toothbrush, let's say, uh, here, I want to, you think tiny? Yeah. All right. But let's say the next one was Golden Gate Bridge. 
and I only had these cards left. Oh, I'll, let's say I didn't have strong. I could use this card still because we all have these tokens. Oh. They are not tokens. Uh huh. And if I did this, this means not tiny. The Golden Gate Bridge is not tiny. So you That's you right. really actually have sixteen words because you have your eight words and you have essentially your not your version negatives. of those eight words, which might not be the opposite, but. All right, we're all going to do this at the same time. Yes. Once we've all put these out on the table, we will then decide as a group who, should, who we want to try to guess at first. And in this case, let's say it's me. And now the three of you will decide where my number one is. You will look at my clue, Playful, and you will decide which of these three do you think it is. And when you've decided which one it is, you will touch it. So someone do that who for me. It? All right. No, you'll no, touch the portal, the portal on the board oh. that you think it is. Hey, if that's right... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the base off of my guy and leave it here, and I'm going to go to here. And okay. now you're going to try to figure out what my next one is. And if you were to touch George Washington, I'm going to move my thing here to George Washington, and my base would go to there. So your last location. Yes, the base always shows where you last were uh -huh. as a way to remind you that you are never going back that direction. Oh, yes. Okay. There's always three choices. If, so however, we got no, to Cabbage more. Patch and you thought, well, Compose is clearly Fire Ants for some yeah, reason. Sure. You would touch that. That would be wrong. Yeah. So what would happen is this. Um, oh, by the way, once you guess Playful and that's correct, this goes away. This card goes in the discard pile and I get this back. So let's say you touch Fire Ants. So the first thing I would do is I would say Fire Ants is wrong for me, which is why our not tokens are color coded. Mm -hmm. I put the base back on my guy to here, and then these cards stay, and they go like that, right? My, for the next round, I'll be giving you clues for two, three, and four. We will draw back up to four cards when all four of our paths have been guessed at. And if I get another card, let's say I could put my second card behind this one. So I'm going to build on the cards you had previous. Oh, good. All right? Okay. And hopefully that will get you out of some jam that you might be in. Sure. Um, anyway, we're going to keep doing that in, for the for four rounds. Uh, at the end of round four, we will draw back up to five clue cards, not oh. four. And oh. we will get to put out one extra disc. Mm -hmm. okay. Because the goal is to get all of us to get all of our, our tenth thing. Sure. These little cups over here are for if you... If you're, all 10 of your portals are guessed by round four, you take one of those and you flip it to the solved it in four side. And if you do it in five, you flip it to the solved in five side. Uh -huh. And that's going to determine our score for the end of the game sure. as to how we did. <clears throat> it's Hanabi-like in the sense that there's no real sort of winning or losing and we're just trying to yeah. get the best score we can get. What if we don't solve any of them in five? We lose? Well, I don't know. Okay. We'll just add up our score at that point and we'll see. You're always just cluing three spaces per turn? Your, your next three spaces, except for round five, where you can do your next four spaces. Yes. I'm going to shuffle the example cards back in. You've already got cards. Go ahead. You can start laying oh them out gosh, if you want. No. Take your thing off fire ants. Oh, yeah. Stop disparaging I fire ants. I to look at my mystic path. Me oh. too. That's hilarious. I shuffled my hand back in. <laughs> nice. It's all right. All right, let me look at my real path, and let me orient it correctly, since I already screwed that up. <laughs> okay. Do you keep your unused card, or can you get rid of it? You keep your unused card. Well, I want to pay to get rid of it. had a theme going with D words over there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just looking at Nikki's first word. 
this exciting? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. All right. <laughs> it's bad news. What? No, no. <laughs> Who do we feel the most confident about? Uh, Lincoln. Right, let's do Lincoln. All right. So which one do you think is boring? Statue of Liberty, cookies, or social media? Um, mm. Mm. This could possibly help. Which one do you think is delightful? Yes. Not to jump ahead yeah. too far, yeah. but boring, delightful, delicious is a real nice chain that fits all three. Well, okay. Flowers can certainly be delightful and candy corns can certainly be delicious. But he could, of course, be circling well, back to... Well, cookies can't be boring. Can they? No, but they could be delicious if we if he circled right. from social media to satellite. So you think social media is boring? Is that what you think? What I do, you do think? but do the think, Statue Nikki? of Liberty could also be boring. I don't know. What do you think, Nikki? I think he has a little more reverence for the Statue of Liberty than social media. I, so. I would agree. I would agree. That's what I agree to. So right. social media. Oh, don't hang it on me. Okay, social no, media. <laughs> we're just all talking about that. Like you're it. married to Lincoln. Oh wait, sorry. Oh, I think we should go with Nikki's instincts. It's not right. good. Not for this Do game. It. Is that correct? All right, all right. You so leave your base on coffee and move your guide. Don't cover them up. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then get rid of card one and the number one so we don't have to look at it anymore. All right, all delightful. Right. Those things could all be delightful. Well, Cookies and satellites. Yeah, right? I like your but. thing, Aaron, because there's nothing delicious from cookies. If we go to cookies next, then there's really nothing delicious. But if he specifically thinks satellites are delightful, you could go either way to delicious. Fair enough. <laughs> I like but your no, thing. I am still, I'm still, what do you think? I flowers? flowers are delightful. All right, I agree. I've, let's follow flowers. our instinct. Yay. Yay. All right. And the base moves to social media, just to and remind us. gets rid of that card. And then. And then we're just going to go here, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, yes. it can't be delicious satellites. Nope. Candy okay, corn? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Right. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, so bring his, his base goes with him. Oh, it now. does now because he's got all three. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Well, we might as well just go clockwise, right? Okay. All right, baked. Well, oh, I mean, it's got to be candy corn, right? Social media and satellites aren't baked. Satellites can be baked. Can Not they? in an oven, but by radiation. All right. <laughs> I don't miss somebody talk. I mean, I think, I think it's. I can't imagine it. I mean, you know, it is his cards, right? Yeah. So, right. But I don't feel the the coldness of space is going to yeah, really be agree. baking it. I'm actually yesterday. touching it right now. However. Here we go. Candy corn. All right. All hey. right. That goes away. All right. Now, not medieval. Uh, satellites. Yep. I like it. Because giraffe and fire ants are, I don't mm -hmm. think of them either way. Yeah. It doesn't seem like he would use a not clue for that. Right. Satellites. All right. All right. Satellites. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I like how they was waiting until we actually touch That's it. That's right. We gotta touch it. Okay, annoying. Well, now Social we're... Media. Wait, oh! oh. I touched it. He yeah, touched it. it. Okay, nice. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Hey, don't touch it. Fire ants and April Fool's Day can both right. be annoying. They could all be annoying, but Fire Lincoln ants. saved I us I like that. it. Go with your instincts. Okay. We're on me. All right. Gregarious. Submarines would be a tough call. Nikola Tesla was kind of eccentric. Cabbage Patch Kids is, I don't know. I mean, I know they're not them. specifically having, having much of a cheerful? personality. What's cheerful after that? That's why. I think Cabbage it's Nikola Patch Tesla, then Cabbage, Cabbage Patch, Patch, and then Gigantic would not be. Gigantic. It's not, not Gigantic. It's not Gigantic. Ants. So it's yeah. Tesla, Cabbage Patch, Fire Ants. Unless it's, <laughs> unless it's Cabbage Patch, George Washington, unless it's Cabbage Patch, April Fool's Golden Gate Bridge. Oh. Yeah, well, we just heard his feelings about April Fool's possibly being I just, annoying. I just think gregarious is the is a is a rough word. I think he got a, a bad hand. Sure. But if gregarious well, uh, means fun and... Yeah. yeah. I don't know anything about Nikola Tesla. I mean... I did watch... Christopher Nolan movie? Yeah. The oh. Prestige. Prestige, there we go. Because there's two, there's the other one, the... Uh, is Tesla the Illusionist? Yes. The Illusionist. Yeah. Is he in that one? Oh, that's yeah. going to be so Wasn't good. Wasn't that David Bowie in that one? Yeah. Playing Tesla? Tesla? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Gregarious is the hard one. <laughs> well, but Bowie uh, was uh, gregarious uh, Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? <laughs> we think it's Cabbage Patch, April Fool's, then Fire Ants, though. That, that sort of makes the most sense, right? Yeah. 
Unless Nick, he thinks Nikola Tesla was especially gigantic. Where did you say it was again? No, I think I said Golden Gate Bridge, which doesn't make sense because it's non-gigantic. It's pretty far okay. away, too. Well, it could, he could, it get, could go it, this way, I yeah. guess. To get it could there. go this way or that way. Or even Tesla. Right? Yeah. All right. Cabbage Patch Kids? I mean, that's the instinct, right? I just don't know what you think about Tesla. He was eccentric. He was a genius. I don't think of it as being gregarious. Me either. So cabbage pant, cabbage, cabbage pants, <laughs> pants, <laughs> cabbage patch kids, April Fools, fire ants. Well, I mean, we got you. Got to start with one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whew. All right. April Fools. Could be Tesla. Was he especially cheerful? No. No. April. Fools. Yeah, it's got to be April Fools for two. Yeah. 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 All right. Make sure and then know. fire ants. Come on. What it could be tiny? cookies. Cookies could be tiny, but I again, yeah, I, I feel like it's most likely. <laughs> we're all going ants. with fire ants. Yeah. Yay! Oh no! no. Boo. I told you cookies can be small. All right, we're on a Nikki. Not gigantic though. I wouldn't think of. But I mean, it's a false positive, right? It's tough. He probably right. had. He like didn't he have had good it. cards, right? All right, we're yeah. on a Nikki. So. I love this first one. Swollen! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Toothbrush, George Washington, or Nikola Tessa? This is so great. This is, no. Well, when you use your toothbrush, you don't get swollen gums. No, or you could if you brush really roughly. Okay. You could get swollen gums. All so right. there you go. What would charming be, is the question. It's, um. Let me move me to correctly. It's George Washington. I don't Washington. know. Oh. I don't know. I guess George Washington? Or the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a charming view how on Hawaii postcards. Hawaii could be charming? It could. Nostalgic is, oh, I like, oh, I'm touching. But how is Tesla I don't know, swollen? But, I don't know. He's dead. <laughs> Here's the deal. I don't know what swollen is, but I Me like either. I like Hawaii Cabbage Patch for charming nostalgic. If it's toothbrush, which, I like, which is charming? Like, Golden maybe Gate the Bridge. Golden Gate Bridge? Yeah, and you're right. Maybe April Fool's Day from all those pranks you pulled as a kid are nostalgic. Maybe. And Statue of Liberty from the vacation you took. I mean, Sw I'm, I don't I'm know. lost on Swollen. Me too. I think it's Toothbrush. I think what it's else could it But Toothbrush be? has, right, positive and negative the Swollen connotations. I think it's got to be that. So we should we do that at least? Yes. Okay, try it. I think it's, you have to start there. Hey, oh, she's happy. Well done. Okay. Take right. the one in the card. I, I, all right. I feel that... Charming... I feel it's gotta like be Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. Unless uh, yeah, sliced bread just sliced bread is not charming, and George Washington. Too. It's not, but there's that phrase of like you know ah. greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah. Yeah. Golden Gate Bridge. I agree. Touch it. No. Oh. Oh. See, who's I'm, sorry, I'm in Nikki sync with B. Nikki. All right. Well, unless unless she thinks George Washington. All right, is that was round one. All right, we're on round two. How many cards you need? Three, right? I yeah. guess we always need three. And I guess you do always need three. You're always going to use three unless you're at the end of your path. All right. All right. Okay, where am I going? Where's What's my path? Okay, I'm there. So what do I want? I want... That's three. That's four. That's five. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, come on. No. This is terrible. Oh, no. no. I guess I'm not supposed to say that out loud, but... You yeah, I, you're right. Five anyway. Mm. That's terrible, you guys. Mm -hmm. Let me look ahead. I'm actually now looking ahead to see which of these to save. Mm-hmm. Gosh darn it. Okay. I want to do Nikki's first. <laughs> we can, why not? All right. All right. So George Washington. Modest and charming. <laughs> Unless it's sliced bread again. What's after that? Slow and nostalgic? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that always goes where you are at the Technically end. here. Oh, sorry. It's all right. It's a hard to remember. Modest and charming, then slow and nostalgic. Well, we know it's not... George Watt. We know it's not Golden Gate Bridge. Right. Well, no. It wasn't Golden Gate Bridge in that order. No. 
the clue charming. Number two is not, not golden. Oh yeah, I see what two is not golden. I'm because I was saying you could be going the, here. Yeah, it could be going there. Right. This we just know it's not next. Right. Sure. Sliced bread, George Washington, or aluminum. It won't go back to aluminum foils. There's only two. Right. There's two. Oh, interesting. You should probably leave the base there then. No. Uh, you just leave yourself on this path. No. Yes. Oh, okay. You leave yourself. Oh, on hey. That no, path. I think you're right, Dave. No. I like Lincoln's thing. They want you to do the thing, but from. I, I like if you just stay on the path. That's because you should know, right? Yeah. Like what yeah. clue you came from. Yeah. Correct. Because you're not going edge. back there. Yeah. Well, this path doesn't really let us know where she is, though, right? That's why they want you to do here. But I like this. I do too because yeah, mm, but she's there. Okay, so what do you think is George Washington? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Nikki's modest is. and charming. I mean, you do you think it's bread? Does, that, it does make more sense, George Washington. Because he didn't. Right? He cannot tell a lie. Right. He was a right. humble person, supposedly. But well, put it this way: we'll know what it is next time if it isn't. That's right. We <laughs> will. There's only one left. All right, go for it. I'll do it. Here we go. Yay! Yay. So this comes off because now Golden Gate Bridge is. Certainly possible. Correct. So, yeah. Slow nostalgic. N Nikola Tesla. Cabbage Patch. You can uh, or, get or, or April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. Or Golden Ugh. Gate Bridge. I think it's not, April Fool's it's not April Fool's Day. I think it's Golden Gate Bridge. I. It is certainly slow. I don't know that. <laughs> well, but adventurous is next. Yeah, I don't know. Statue of Liberty. No, maybe. Yeah, sort of, maybe. Man, slow. Slow almost has to be a point to the bridge, right? Because it feels like it. But I, I mean, don't know what Cabbage Patch unless it's Kids. Nikola were. Tesla, but I don't think that's a good. Yeah, I don't know. I why. agree. I think she said fast and nostalgic. I would think she, that was Tesla. Do you think that card has fast on the other side of it? No, she could put no, a not. She could have. Oh yeah, yeah. She yeah. could have made that not slow. So I agree with you. I think it's Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, it's it. never going to be Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> we should just learn that lesson now. <laughs> That's terrible. It's all right. We'll get there. <sighs> Ooh, okay. We need some, all right, Lincoln. some three turns for Nick. Lincoln curved. curved. Okay. Nefarious and rural. Uh, here, okay. So I think he's just going around the edge of the board. Maybe, but this is what I, I think this is important to know. I, I need to know that he can't go back to flowers. I do too. Well, that was why I'm on this edge with that thing. Yeah. But you do what you guys need to make yeah. it work for you. I think the base on the connection makes it very clear. To me, anyway. All right. All right. You think giraffe? Uh, I don't know, actually. Or... I like giraffe for curved. Fire ants are more curved? No. <laughs> yeah, they've got little bulbous bodies. But he wouldn't he pick curve curve. for that. He had the card Nefarious in his hand. That could have been Fire Ants. Yeah, that's true. I don't think it's Satellite. I think no, you're right. Satellites are very jagged. What do you think about dress? A curvy neck. Yeah. What do you think? Yes. Okay. Right. We agree. Nope. Oh! Ah! Dang it. All right, Aaron. Fat. Not fat. Not fat. Cookies. Not fat. Oh, thank you. Not fat. Or cook cookies. He came from flowers, right? Yeah, see this? No. He came, he came from, from satellite. Oh. oh. I mean, I put him specifically on there. If you follow yeah. what I'm saying, it's it's there. Yeah. I mean, I was that, doing yeah, that. That makes sense. The same thing. That makes sense. But yes. You're right, Lincoln. I, I like what you're doing now. Wow. Yeah. Not fat. So thin flowers? Hmm. But non fat or coffee? I mean, maybe. You know. if, if, it, if it is flowers, then there's nothing that goes to fragile for that. So. Well, he, maybe coffee then. He went to flowers, right? He started flowers. I like coffee. Or did he go to candy corn? Coffee's was, got no calories. Yeah. So it's sort of non-fat in that regard. Okay. Instead of instead of thin, right? It's sure. Not fat. It's the pretty much the best thing there, I think, as far as choice. Okay, I like it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so fragile. It's got to be cookies, right? The Statue of Liberty is not fragile. Okay. I mean, Liberty's fragile right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the Statue of Liberty is solid copper, man. Or bronze sure. or whatever it is. Or maybe both. Yeah. All right, here. Yay. Yay. A fragile cookie. All right. Move your thing. Now, deadly. April Fool's Day can be deadly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Satellites. Killer satellites. Killer satellites. Or Golden Gate Bridge jumping off the bridge. Jumping oh, off the bridge, yeah. Golden Gate Bridge has been wrong every time. Do you want to keep picking it? It could be social media. It might be right for somebody. He's already go, been at social media. He can go back oh, yeah, there now. He could go back. He, can, he now can officially go back there. Oof. Woof. I think you can't go all the way to the top of the Statue of Liberty because people were had in the past jumped from it. No. But yeah. I don't think so. People were definitely jumping from Golden Gate Bridge for sure. Yeah. I like Golden Gate Bridge and I like social media. What do you think? I don't think of social media as being as deadly, but it certainly has been. I mean, gosh, it's terrible. What do you think, Nick P? No kidding. Anyway, I'm trying to remember if there's like a horror movie for April Fool's Day. There is. <laughs> but I don't know. Here's the deal, though. He's on six, so. Gosh, they all could be good. So, as, as far as I'm concerned. April Fool's Day works, too. Yep. Dangerous, stupid things happening. Yeah. I just say let's pick one. He's on. He's, he's not behind. No. I don't so. know. Or Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, all, all right. Of let's those do that because Golden Gate Bridge is always wrong and it's fun. Here we go. Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's only got a one and a six on it. Wow. Well done, Aaron. I'm, I got good cards. Well done, us. Time. Yes. Well done, yeah. you. All right. Here we go. All right. Not bad and not gigantic, and it's not fire ants. Oh, cookies are not bad and not gigantic, yeah. and it wasn't satellites. Right? Because they are gigantic, kind of. No, we, we guessed fire ants, but I mean... Yeah. Right, but we were sure it was fire ants or cookies. We weren't even talking about satellites last time. Although... Because they're not gigantic. Right. Right. And he wouldn't clue... G not gigantic for the bridge or George Washington. So it's cookies. It is. Lovely. Lovely. Satellites he can't get to flowers. Lovely. No. Statue, Statue of Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is lovely and the Statue of Liberty yes. is lovely. Coffee is lovely for some people. Does Dave drink a lot of coffee? Not that I know uh -huh. of. I don't think so. He doesn't really talk about it or anything. And here's the funny thing. Whether we Statue choose of Statue of Liberty or Golden Gate Bridge, sliced bread can be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> quiet. The Statue of Liberty could be quiet. She didn't say anything. Yeah. Golden Co Bridge Coffee, makes some Coffee's noises. quiet unless it's percolating. She's a quiet statement. Toothbrush can be quiet. Wow. George uh, Washington. Quiet's a terrible... He, he must not have had good cards. So, what's more lovely, the Golden Gate Bridge or the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> or does he just really love coffee and none of us know? He's from San Francisco. He is? Pick it. What do you think, Link? I don't know either. Statue look, of Liberty look, seems I just proved to, to you that Golden Gate Bridge is not always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Three. I, I don't... Because love Statue of Liberty, yeah. I mean, ah. just... Thinking about the view and the postcards, I feel like Golden Gate Bridge is more well, lovely. Well, he lived right there, though. Yeah. So. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Quiet. Quiet. Toothbrush or bread. Well, George Washington is dead. That would make him quiet. He's yes. very quiet. The last couple hundred years, haven't heard <laughs> of him. Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, Slice of Bread is also pretty quiet. I guess that is the best clue for Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Let's but just be logical. Yeah, be logical. At least knock that one out if yeah. it's wrong. Yeah. He can get... Uh, I mean, this has to point to something. There had to be better things for coffee or sliced bread, you would think. Because... Maybe. I don't know. Look at my cards. It won't There's be something. coffee, right? But it, but you wouldn't think so. And no. Dead, and like you said. It can't be coffee But now. is April Fool's Day dead? Is toothbrush uh, and, and quiet? And no, I would say April Fool's Day is not quiet. Sure. She's going, April Fool's! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe. And, yeah. And he just came from cookies. I, I mean, Statue of Liberty is the strongest candidate, I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. All right. Well, we knew... Right. We did. We're doing fine. All right. Was that everyone? Yeah. Right. Wait. No. I, yep. I did. We did. Oh, we I missed his. Oh, yeah, come on. Yep. Really missed me. No, he. But he's still say four, five, and six. Yep. Oh, I know. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's true. We're on oh. round three. <sighs> All right. All right. Where am I? Oof. 
five, six, seven. I still have to add a card to five. <laughs> this game is cool. Let's start looking again because we let them down. That's got to be satellites. It does, but look at the other ones then. Powerful and nefarious sounds a lot like social media. Yep. But then funny and rural? Back to coffee or flowers? Like, you think his path is curving that much back on itself? Unless powerful and nefarious is April Fool's Day. <laughs> I, that I, doesn't this, sound right, does yeah, it? Yeah, no. But I mean, doesn't stellar? Oh yeah, curved is the orbit around the Earth. Yeah, it's the or the satellite. Maybe the satellites are dishes, right? Like I don't know. Exactly. No, this it has to be satellites. All right, touch it. Let's get that over with. I will say it's spherical, but quite pointy in parts. Yeah. Yay. Correct. Okay. All right, powerful and nefarious. Uh, what do you think, Nikki? Mm. Fire, Fire ants. ants. Ooh. I just don't like... Oh, funny and rural is Cabbage Patch Kids if Fire Ants is powerful. Oh, I like that a lot better because I just don't think that... Like, he started here yeah. and he's gone here. I kind of don't think that the path is going to... It does either, seem... It's not going to double loop and then make him choose three repeats in a row or How go do you back about to Fire Ants? Space. That's my, that's my I guess. I think that, you know, they always talk about ants being able to lift. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Let's just, right. let's just touch stuff. And then touch Cabbage Patch. I'm taking my knot off here. because Right, because April Fool's Day is not rural. Just submarines are not rural. Well, giraffes could be. Lincoln's, giraffes, not, Lincoln's not wrong what he said. Let's just not touch it right away. Right. Let's make sure we're... Giraffes thinking. are pretty funny looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this technique is gone. They are funny looking. And they're rural if, say, Africa is rural or the jungle plains that they roam are rural. I don't know. The the second clue he added was funny, right? So the first clue he added was rural. That's the one he had. Yes. And then he added funny to that. So it, that seems more cabbage path than giraffe to me. What do you think? Because it's cabbage, that's where I think rural. Okay, I get that. But how many pictures of giraffes have you seen? <laughs> Seen and laughed at. <laughs> That's um, a good point. I think they're very. I think they're both viable. I do think they are both good answers. So I'll go with your choice. What do you want? No. Don't. All right. What do you want? Uh, I'm just. I'm just gaming the system, saying that you it's going to go that way. Okay. No, I don't want to keep on the edge. So okay. here we go. Cabbage patch. Correct. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Three for three. All right, Aaron. Dependable, accomplished, amusing. Okay. Slice bread is dependable. Yeah. Toothbrushes can be dependable. Amusing. Wow. I kind of... George so Washington, Nikola Tesla... To Cabbage Patch? Yeah. I'm kind of thinking that same thing. Right? Dependable? George yeah, because it's the whole, like, I cannot tell a lie, first yeah. president, yes, whatever. Yeah. Sure. I mean, okay, but if we go beyond, if we, let's say we go to, like, toothbrush. He could be accomplished, could accomplished be and then cabbage patch. I don't know, accomplished really wants to meet Tesla to me. Sure. And the only way to get there is through George Washington, and dependable seems legit for George Washington. But... You're not wrong. Toothbrushes, I mean, sliced bread is dependable for that matter. It's not April Fool's Day, that's all I know. <laughs> sliced bread spoils, though. It's not really dependable. <laughs> well, more importantly, Statue of like Liberty... I've had plenty of sandwiches I wanted to make, yeah. and the bread was not good. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you feel, how do you feel about George Washington versus I, toothbrush? I, I feel all right. All right, George Washington? Sure. Yay! Right. Yay. 
then it's Tesla. I would agree. Are you okay with Tesla? Yeah, sure. Yay. All right. And then amusing, it's got to be Cabbage, cabbage Patch, Patch Kids, yeah. right? All right. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting the cards. It's, we're good at this game, you guys. You guys are Nikki really Lincoln, good. We're great at this game. Aaron, you should really start playing better. <laughs> <laughs> I've given nine perfect I clues. I know, I know. With that the great cards down on, on the other That one. was a terrible <laughs> joke. All, All right. right, here we go. All right. Mm. Not miserable and quiet for number five. It's not the Statue of Liberty. And he came from cookies? Yeah. So it's it's sliced bread, maybe? No, he's here. Uh, oh, he's yeah. here Armand the Golden Gate Bridge right now. Oh, oh, he can go so many places, yes. It's quieter than toothbrush. Toothbrush makes a lot of noise when you brush your teeth. April Fool's Day makes a lot of noise, we think. I don't think he would clue would he quite to Okay, but then what's lovable? That? Okay, the Statue of Liberty is lovable. He just can't go back and to cookies. And then calm. Oof. Yeah. No, not calm. Not, not calm. calm. Coffee. That could be April Fool's Day. Or coffee. All right, wait. Where are we going first? Not miserable? And quiet. It was sliced bread. Maybe not calm. Mm. Oh, not calm could be coffee. That's it perks you up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I said. Sliced so bread, sliced bread, bread coffee. Because it's not miserable because sliced bread is so great and yeah. the well, greatest it, thing it, since it sliced bread. It is reliable, though, but I will. Greatest, it's not reliable. It's not dependable. Greatest thing since sliced bread. It is the opposite of miserable. <laughs> so we're just going around the edge here. Sure. Bread, liberty, coffee. I think so. Let's just make sure there's no other really cool ones. Well, aluminum foil is not lovable. No, it's not. Although or Dave calm. was in aluminum foil in... Yes. <laughs> ER. In ER. Yes. That's true, I was. <laughs> and I'm lovable. Yes. <laughs> I think it's sliced bread. It's not I great, just, but okay. I think it's... But what it if, really depends on what you're calling. I just want to look at... What if he regrets this quiet clue and not miserable is leading us to April Fool's Day? Is there a good lovable after that? Cabbage Patch Kids are very lovable. But he would have selected not lovable, uh, not quiet for April Fool's Day, period. Okay, I'm just making There's sure. There's no doubt he would have selected that. Not if he's screwed... It. There's no way to go back sure, if he's screwed sure, up. Sure. That's the problem. But I don't think problem. of April Fool's Day as quiet. I don't either. Uh, you're right. That would be a bad clue. Unless you're only looking at it on the web with sound turned yeah. off. Because then you're not going to get Rick Maybe the horror movie that he's thinking of is very quiet. It's about people sleeping. He doesn't like a lot of horror movies. All right. Then touch sliced bread. Yay! You <laughs> absolutely got what I was going for, which was it's the best thing since sliced bread or the greatest <laughs> thing since sliced bread. You said, Nikki said it earlier, and I thought, oh, great. I'm going to use the not miserable to maybe point them there. All right. Lovable toothbrush? What are they doing this is no, gone. I think it's Statue of Liberty. Uh, yeah. I do too, because not calm is just such a great coffee clue. Yep. In fact, he might be just depending on that to get us there. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Yes. Hooray. And then there. Yes. He didn't even want to wait. No, there's no reason to wait. Yep. Yay. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. And here I am. All right. <laughs> Slow, nostalgic, and not wise. So it's not Tesla. She's at the Golden Gate Bridge? No. She's at George, no. Washington. George, Washington. George Washington. And this is from last round, correct? Yeah. Okay, so that is legitimately a, a wrong way to go. Wait, shouldn't there be two if she's got three cards on that one? It's Cabbage Patch Kids then. Oh yeah, Nikki, where was the other one we misguessed? No, it must have gotten hit. I picked no, one up from no, here. No, because this card came from us zonking on two. Thank you. Not from Thank three. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay, and not wise, I think, is clearly steering us away from Tesla. Sure. What do we have? Slow, nostalgic, it not could be, wise? It could be April Fool's Day. It, I feel like it has to be, right? But can't be. Yeah, I don't is know. Is it not wise someone who's a fool? Oh, because a fool. Oh, yeah, of course. What, what, where does it go after that? Exacting adventurous. Could be satellites. You've got to be very exacting with your science of doing satellites. Or the Golden Gate Bridge. And candy corn is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> she, she loves candy corn. Oh, she does? But social yeah. media can I was be banking on her loving, knowing That's that hilarious. I care. I, I like candy A corn. A lot of well. people hate it, though. I know they candy do. Really All right, disgusting. slow, oh. not wise, nostalgic, little fall. No. No. Nikola Tesla, no. Not wise, I think. Clearly takes us off of that. Right. Cabbage Patch? Uh, no. That's what I said, but I think I think April slow, Fool's Day is better. But I don't see how it's slow. But, but they're for kids. It's a whole day. Kids are not wise. I don't know. I don't either. Well, I don't know how the Cabbage Patch are slow either. I mean, slow is a weird clue. Again, it could be she was just stuck right. with bad cards and she had to put something down. Because they don't move on their own, they're slow. 
I mean, I think that's that's my that was my first instinct. It doesn't mean I'm correct, but I I was with you on Cabbage Patch until the not wise. Except I, I don't know where exactly. I'm always, I'm always just but maybe that's Hawaii. Oh, but what's disgusting after that? Tesla or submarines? No, no. Okay, exacting and adventurous. Well, if this is next, exacting and adventurous could, could be submarines. April Fool's Day. This could be April Fool's Day. I wait, don't know. It could be submarines, then disgusting fire ants. Could be. But wait a second. If we go to April Fool's Day. Yep. Then satellite. For exacting and adventurous? I guess. And then social media. I like social media for disgusting. I do too, but. Do oh, it. We gotta go with the fools you for make not a choice. Wise. No. That's, oh, oh, no. That was Dang a, it. That was a rough All right, one. It's okay. We'll get it next time. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's only round four. We can still get there. Can we? Yeah. Three, four, five. Yeah, we can, yeah. actually. Yeah. All right, round four. Oh, round four. How many rounds are there total? Five. five. We can't make Oh, no, we can't. Yes, yes no. we can, because you get an extra get... one on the fourth round, and you get an extra card as well. No, there's still too many. It's going to be nine. No. I she am can on do <laughs> six. Oh, you're right, six. Um, too many. Three. It doesn't matter. We don't lose. No. We just, yeah. We just, sorry, don't, we we just don't add the value to whatever it is. We let you down, Nick. It's really sorry. Di disappointing. Let whatever. Here we go. <laughs> Where am I? Mm. Mm. Nikki starts. Okay. You're right. Um, I think it's cabbage patch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we just touched it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oy. Sorry, Nikki. Okay. I got thrown. I was thrown. I threw myself from the not wise clue. I apologize for that. Okay. All right. Over. Over the, the top. Exacting and adventurous. God, that has and to be. Then to not helpful and disgusting. Interesting. If it's if it was not over the top, it'd be perfect for submarines, right? <laughs> yeah, <'cause they> are <laughs> underneath, yeah. underneath, yeah. Uh, I I don't know about exacting, but April Fool's Day fits the other two. I agree, actually. And it doesn't really fit Hawaii or fire ants. But then what's disgusting? Well, not helpful and disgusting. It has that would have to be fire ants fire whether ants. we went to submarine or April Fool's Day, right? Sure. So we get to fire ants. For the third clue, no matter what. I feel like that's definitely... Five, to me, is definitely fire ants. Okay. And I feel like... That feels more like April Fool's Day to me than me submarine. Too. Me too. What do you think, Link? Sure. All right, touch it. Touch it. Touch yeah. it. Yeah. And then just let's just touch fire ants, yeah. right? Yeah. Fire ants. Yay! Beautiful. We got a three for three. All right, we got there eventually. Yay. It only took us, <laughs> it only took us several, several rounds, rounds for that cabbage patch kids. <laughs> All right, Lincoln, intelligent... <laughs> Musical lightweight. Well, where is he? I is like, over on coffee? I like that's you. He's here. He's green. He's here. And he can't go back to fire ants. Oh well, Tesla is very intelligent. That's almost like a perfect clue for him. Okay, but then what's music? Uh, I don't know. Hawaii. Aluminum. Aluminum foil. foil? That's tough. Musical is tough. I like it. Yeah. All right. Two, but toothbrushes are lightweight. Are we going to Hawaii? Uh, no, we're going to Tesla. Don't, don't we you think? think? Yeah. You do? Okay, here we go. Yep. All right, look at that. Okay, let's just. All right. Now. Hawaii. Oh, uh, there's a. I mean, it's got I Hawaii. like it too. I do too. Then what do you got? Light. Back to Cabbage Patch Kids? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? all right. Yeah, you like that? Uh, aluminum foil, he wouldn't pick musical. There's no reason to, right? You got hula dancers in Hawaii. No, you got, in fact, you got Don Ho playing the fact, ukulele. In fact, depending on what his other cards were, if it were aluminum foil, wouldn't that be lightweight? Unless he didn't have a good card for nine. Yeah, I would think Which so. Which is possible. He might not have a good card for nine. There's only, and George Washington's not musical. Musical is a great clue for Hawaii if there's three yeah. choices here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I thought Hawaii, but then I was. 
Do we talk you out of it? Thinking of a discussion I we mean, had the other day. Uh, <laughs> well, that's valid. Was it about making music with aluminum foil? No, it was uh, it was about the um, American Revolution and the Yankee Doodle Dandy song. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, and he is a character in Hamilton the musical. Boom. Oh. Big clue. Yeah. <laughs> Look how he yeah. Lincoln's over there going, these guys just talked themselves out of Hawaii. Or <laughs> into his perfect or clue. Because <laughs> Nikki brought it up. And then you got toothbrush, which is super lightweight. Oh. I like it. Yeah. You like it? Sure. I'm not throwing away my shot. Yes! yes! Nikki for the win. Oh, man. And we got to be toothbrush, right? <laughs> it's not, I mean, Cabbage Patch Kids, but aluminum one, foil is also lightweight. One sheet of aluminum foil is lighter than a toothbrush. I don't feel bad if we guess wrong here, though. No. I think these are legitimate, and this is a, a distant third, but Hold possible. on, hold on. Yeah. I want half credit for that Hamilton the Musical Leading answer. Okay. Okay. You gave it all to Nikki. Nikki. I gave ah! it third credit. You gave it two credit all all for <laughs> knowing. No, no. The then I, then I got to the musical. It's in the musical. <laughs> right. But then, if she doesn't say America, if she doesn't give the discussion, we don't get there at all. <laughs> I put right. it this way. I'll take no credit. Yeah, good. You That's two what you can divide it how you see fit. You'll take no credit and like it. All right. <laughs> and I'm the musical guy. <laughs> so that says right. something. These are both good answers. Those are both very lightweight. Okay. However. Okay, person who gets more credit. Which one? I, uh, which of these two? Hey, have been I have been trying to shun. Which one could fly away if you throw it up in the air? Balloon foil. Yeah, I think it's a little. They're both lightweight. lightweight. I, I don't think Lincoln will be mad at us no, I don't if we pick the wrong one here because they're either. legitimately both lightweight. I mm. would say aluminum foil is lighter than a toothbrush if you if you had to do it. Unless it's the Unless box it's of the whole roll. Exactly. Again, but, yep. his Honestly, cards yeah. yep. don't let right. him do... He can't make Toothbrush was my first instinct. That funny I'm now night just of seeing a choice right. well, here's given my thinking. his cards. If this were clue 10, then we could... Really try to figure it out because it would get us more points. Right, but it's not. We're getting his it's on the fifth clue round. Nine, no so yeah. just somebody pick one and let's move on. First instinct. Yay! All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. It was what I had too. I was like, well, darn it! But that's yeah. like the only nice, thing I had. dude. We got it. We got, we got there <laughs> for errands. I'm just gonna say this because I thought of it when I saw your card. If he had put a knot on that, then that would have been George Washington to me. Because I would have taken that as decomposed. Oh, but they're both not dead. not composed. <laughs> both Tesla and George Washington are decomposed. He can't go to Tesla. He's on Cabbage Patch. Oh, okay. He came from composed Tesla. Hawaii submarines, fire ants, April Fool's Day, George it's got Washington. To be George Washington. I think Doesn't it is it? also still George Washington. But I just wanted Aaron to know that it would be a lock for me, a George Washington lock, if he put the knot on it. As crazy as that sounds. Yeah, because you're going to like decompose. Well, that's just me. I'm that's, crazy that way. The man was. I Doesn't mean, mean I'm right, by the way. So we think. Hey, you know, George Washington's in a musical, and those are composed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and Aaron was very big about saying that he knew there was a musical. <laughs> there you go. I it think could be. that was a clue. Well, I don't think it's fire ants. <laughs> And I don't think it's submarine. It's, it's, it's George Washington. There's nothing else. I mean, unless it's Hawaii. Oh. oh. He is decomposed. Oh. No. Ah, nice. Ah. But I had, and I didn't think of the musical at all. Oh. I just oh, was like, okay. hey, he's a fairly composed gentleman. Yes, I think. there you, you go. Yeah. That's where I went. You are off the board. <laughs> I made it through the portal or sealed the portal, whatever. Take a fourth yeah, round victory. Four chip. You graduate or is that, whatever. Does it say fourth round? It That's says five. Fifth. Yeah, turn it over. Yeah, gold trophy. You get the gold, not the bronze. All right. Oh, I'm wearing me. Silver. Yep. Silver. Thank you. Silver. Yes. Okay. Awesome, aggressive, and meticulous. He came from Statue of Liberty. Liberty. All right. So. Cookies are awesome. Pretty, pretty much cookies are awesome. So social media. Satellites could it's be aggressive. aggressive. Or, or this could be aggressive, and then you have to be meticulous to sure. construct and engineer a satellite. Or April Fool's Day is aggressive because it's in your face and loud and like people are scaring you with it. And then mm. you had to be meticulous to be the architect of the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> yeah. But we got to go with cookies first, right? Sure. It's 50-50 and it's not going to be social media. Yeah. 
Yes, right? I think social media is awesome. I mean, they do have awesome power that they don't necessarily exercise responsibility. <laughs> right. But I feel like cookies. With, it's, it's cookies. cookies. Right? Yes, it is. Cookies are awesome. Yes, they are. So, aggressive. He could go back to Statue of Liberty, no. but it's more likely one of these four. Social media. I don't is think of satellites as generally being aggressive, unless you're unless thinking of... like defense spying, satellites that shoot sure, missiles, but spying. those are like for, you know... Or it's, uh, it's, uh, Star, I, uh, what is it, Starlink or whatever, uh, <laughs> they're like the, messing the, up the yeah, guys. Cybernet, uh, what do you, what is Skynet? Yeah. Shoot, firing Skynet. the nukes. I also do kind of like April Fool's Day, though, just because it's loud and... Sure. I'm thinking of, like, pranks that nobody appreciates, but they yes. are aggressive and yeah. annoying. But meticulous, meticulous can be social media, satellites, Golden Gate Bridge, maybe George Washington if you think he was like a meticulous military leader. <laughs> so like April Fool's Day gets you to three of those. Social media means that you're either yeah. meticulously arranging your flowers or, or designing your satellite. So that's, that's where you've got to go from there. Well, if, um, you know, his old girlfriend did flowers and they were... Pretty particular about their... And again, radio. now, as Dave pointed out, there are points at stake here. If we get both of these, we get an extra, like, trophy bonus. If we get one or none of these, we, we hurt our, our player score. My instinct says April Fool's Day is more aggressive than social media, but there's also bullying on social media. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Well, he likes social media. I Does mean, he? he likes I don't on know. Facebook. All right. I mean, you guys seem more down on it. I'm... I just don't, I don't know that every, every clue is always going to be negative for social media. Sure. I say Nikki chooses. Yeah, she doesn't want to. Fire do ants Nikki can be wants. meticulous too. That's true. In their construction they're building and all of their that kind of stuff. So. Absolutely, that's actually a really good answer. It's not like it's a bad... I actually like that answer best, so then go with April Fool's Day. Lincoln? Sure. Oh! <laughs> All right, here we go. Fingers. Round five. So there's only two. Social s satellites. Everybody gets an extra card. Social media. There's four cards I for you. I think you can meticulously arrange flowers, though. We'll have to see four where he puts that in No cards for you. No You're cards You're off you. the board. I got three already. I only need one. <laughs> you get no cards. And Nikki, you can put out six, seven, eight, nine. No. Okay. Do you go to five cards? You should have to, right? Yes. She has five cards. Do you? Yes. Okay. Where am I? Mm. Mm. That's great. <laughs> Sweet. Dave's is easy. I know. <laughs> he got great cards. Oh, well, Nikki's isn't bad too. Could be artistic cookies, artisanal cookies. Hmm. Handsome. Flower, yeah. All right, we got them down. I love that we have I both think, not see, I salty and sweet on the table. Yes. I think we should go backwards, so I think we should start with Lincoln. Okay. And save Nikki for last. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I love this because at first Lincoln put out not sweet, and I thought, oh, it's sliced bread because right. bread's a little bland. It's right. not that sweet. But then he took this off because he was thinking, oh, no, that's going to make them think it's not food, and they're going to go to aluminum foil because... Sweet now makes us think it is food, which it is. It's sliced bread. Yep. Oh. Yeah. I was touching but sliced they, bread whether it had a non token or not. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I loved, I saw you they trying both, to make that decision. They I thought, both dude, go to doesn't sliced matter. Bread. We're golden. They both go take to sliced bread. It's take great. a trophy. That's the best part. All right. All right. Me next. You do, Dave's. It's so okay. He, he got great cards and great so, clues. So uh, it's. He's on. It's social media. Yep. And satellites. Yep, the isolated was my. Yes. Best That's a hard. brilliant clue. Yes. You know, I I, I, I do also, enjoy Facebook. I'm not on the other social media, but it is sort of sad that that the rap social media has is all negative for the most part. Yeah. I I thought about putting a positive thing that direction, but then you'd have to know that's what I meant. 
and it just seemed like the obvious thing you think about about social media is its ability to cause harm to me and and not to be yes. good. Though it causes a lot of good too. Okay, so Nikki's there is you. candy corn. Wait, right, okay. not so satellites. Okay, hang on. Let's let's just do this. Candy corn, right? Yes. Okay, that's had to be. I don't no. know handsome though. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, seen. you think political is satellites, right? Has to be. Yeah, not flowers. Flowers or giraffes? Or giraffe or fire ants. Wait, I just touched it. Satellites? Oh, no. yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. <laughs> she made a face. I thought it was wrong. <laughs> okay. Flowers. You or, think or cookies. I don't know. But. but here's the deal. Handsome could be candy corn again. She can come back around to it. Right. It can't be satellites again. But if, if, if it's flowers, then the final Artistic is one Artistic is definitely two. not fire ants. And it's definitely not April Fool's Day. But it could be cookies or social media, just depending on what card she had in her hand. I right. think handsome is a better wait. I think handsome is a better clue for a national landmark if cookies are artistic. Well, again, she could just be stuck with. The agree. Crash. That's because I agree with Lincoln that flowers is my knee jerk reaction for artistic. Sure, but agree. I mean it's it's not great though either, right? It's here's the thing though. I want to just say this now. I was going to save it till afterwards, but on my turns. Almost every one of your first guest instincts has been correct this whole game. And then at least two or three times you, you talked yourselves out of it. So I, I trust that you think Flowers is artistic right. simply because you have had that track record with me on my turn. And again, it doesn't matter because we can't get Nikki's 10th portal, so we don't need to spend too much time on All this, right. correct? Touch it, Lincoln. Oh, okay. Nope. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so now let's try to figure okay, it out. Since so we can. cookies. And then Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, no, Statue of Liberty is more, a person is handsome or beautiful. Sure. I think it's these two. Is it those? Yes. Yeah, oh, see? Nice. <laughs> All right, I would have at least got to nine. Okay. So our score is wherever the last successful place we were in our path. So in Nikki's case, that would be seven. seven. So she would score seven, and the rest of us would all score nine, right? Not or do 10, we score right? ten? No, I guess we do score ten, because that was the last successful place. So ten, twenty, thirty-seven... Plus one point for a silver cup. 39. Two points for a gold. 41. 41. 41. So let's see what it says. <laughs> oh, 41. Add up all the scores of each player and then divide by the number of players rounded down. So, so 10. 10. That is second from the top. Oh. <laughs> Tekken is 10 is grade A awesome. Excellent. Now let's discuss paying back your student loans. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're nice. oh, we're right. Right. We took out big loans to the In net. fact, it's A plus okay. A, A minus, B, C, D, F. They're, they're letter grades. So okay. we, got, we scored an A on our final exam. Well, Very that's nice. nice. That's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, I didn't remember about the scoring system, so this could have made a difference. But 42 divided by 4 was also It's also to round yeah. down, right. So we, it, we as it turns out, finish. it didn't matter. Right. We would, we would have either had to either finish her path or gotten one more gold trophy to get 11 for our score. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Okay, so 11's the top score? 11 is the top score, right? Because I guess what's the most you could get? You could get 40, 48. No, which would be 12. In a four-player game. You could get it 12. It says 11 plus on the screen. Okay. You could get 12 if we all got all 10 in four rounds. Perfect score is 12. And it's only possible if everyone gets all everything. Right. Wow, right. that, that would be ch challenging. Though, it would, right? but I mean, I bet it, I'm sure it's doable. Oh, I, he had some t what did you think? Oh, yeah. you, you seem to have the hardest cards, unfortunately. What did you uh, think? Though? I still liked it, yeah. but the decisions with the cards, it's very difficult. It is very hard to uh, get people to go in a direction. Um, once you've laid that first card down and they're already off on the wrong direction, you, it's... It's hard to correct it because you can't take that card and yep. throw it away. Yeah. But the marking of that isn't that wasn't right kind of helps with of getting yep. you back sure. into that direction. Um, I it's challenging. I find yeah. it fun, but it's challenging. I wouldn't for me. I wouldn't say, oh, it's a party game because it's not that light. I mean, it's difficult with cards that. Um, that you get handed um, right. to try to figure out. The paths are really neat. I think that's a very interesting um, thing to add to a game like this where you're trying to get people to pick stuff because you have to, 
you can't be like, well, my card would be better for Hawaii, so I'm going to pick Hawaii next. You're stuck to this yeah. path that you have to take, which makes your cards even more like narrow and harder to work with. So it's challenging. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I like the game, and it's you get stuck with, and you know, the 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 torture, right? You know, that was what I was funny was like, yeah. oh, it's not curved. And I'm like, dang it. And that's why I want to say spherical, but pointy in parts, because he's right, it is pointy, but you know what I mean? Right. Satellites <laughs> definitely have potentially curves. And sure. I thought, oh, yeah. Well, they, can and be, and like, they can be dishes. dishes. Yeah, I mean, and, and pads. We let curve, you, yeah. Look, I mean, there was at least one round where I felt like I, I let you down on we your cards. We definitely let her down a couple <laughs> yeah. times, yeah. And, and to your point, though, there is something to be said for the fact that I would... I was giving more weight to your second card okay. oftentimes because because the fact that we didn't sometimes get your first card could have meant you were stuck with a bad one. Mm. But even so, um, on the other hand, sometimes you get... A lot of times we were clogged up at choke points where there were only one or two choices, so that wasn't too bad, right? A lot of it depends on how open your path is versus not. Do you think you should use your best card and best clue on your first choice? So that yes. so people don't blank on the first one. Well, it just depends on what you have. I will say that in the second round, I was dealt the aggressive card. Yeah. And I knew I had social media way down the line, and I saved it on purpose. Interesting. Okay. But because of that, there was run round where the rest of my cards were sort of meh, and I, and you guys did zonk on me in that round, and that was partly because now that said, that aggressive gentle card wasn't going to be good for the things I had anyway. Yeah. By allowing myself to not you or by not allowing myself to use it, it did limit the other three cards, right? Sure. So, but I figured it was worth taking the hit to save a card that I knew would be okay for me down the line. If that makes any sense. What? Although it was equally good for April Fools, you were I not had, wrong about it. I had that. something similar where I had intelligent and I was like and Nikola Tesla was in there like, "Okay, I got to save it." Yeah. Right. Oh, absolutely. And it was hard, but I was very fortunate that I was able to do this. You yeah. Know? And Aaron said that right away. Oh, it's this, this, and this. And I'm like, just, oh, please just don't mesh. change it, you know what I mean? I'm not kidding. The <laughs> number of times, there was one round where you're like, oh, it's this and such. Living color. Or, oh, it's uh, Cookie Social Media. Like, and then oh talked God. ourselves like, out of it. Everyone listen to listening. Everyone listen to Lincoln. Yeah. And then you're like, well, but blah, blah, blah. And the problem is some of those arguments were valid. Yeah. Right. Right? But your first instinct well, is the, right on You're hoping that the, the, yeah. the second and third clues, if they look far enough ahead, will help guide yes, them yes, down right. the path. I like that part of it. I like the the bunching up of the clues. I love the physical design of these big things, yeah. how they cover the word you don't use. Yeah. The not tokens are fantastic. Absolutely. That's I think I think every good game design should have one brilliant innovation. And, and it's the not tokens in this game. Yeah. The fact that you can just do this, not ancient means it's something very recent. And right. not tiny means the Golden Gate Bridge because it's gigantic. Like, right. That gives you so much versatility where you're... <laughs> not decomposed. <laughs> <laughs> no, not composed. Not composed. Means yeah. rotting in the ground. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, no, it's man. Because it is rough. <laughs> I'm, I almost might recommend for your first game... First game teaching this to people, especially people who maybe aren't that great at clue giving right. games, deal an extra card. Sure. Play with five cards. You could totally let do everybody that. get used to it. But like you said, four cards, they actually have eight words on them, and this makes it sixteen. So right. like this is a brilliant and little thing. Even with thing that, sometimes that it yeah, really hard. Start, yes. Oh, absolutely. But I I really well, I, like that. I never I like use them until the end either. Right. I used them a few times. I, I like And then I, I took it, it off, so I didn't I actually also, ever use one. I got very lucky and got cards that almost always... I, I got 10 clues. You guys got all 10 of mine in yeah. a row. Right. Mm -hmm. Your clues are very clear most yeah. of the time. I, I, the cards so, were pretty easy Of course, easy most any of card time. game is... So any card game is going to have that some, somewhat randomness. But I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I played it again. Yeah, absolutely. I will play it again at some point. Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was interesting, so the, the comparison to Codenames, obviously, specifically Codenames Duet, which is the co-op version of Codenames, is is going to happen and what this game the the way they mainly differ to me and first off the paths are just interesting mm -hmm. yeah but the, the main way they differ are these cards now this is one of those games where you are stuck with what you have like dixit or mysterian sure. or uh, simila or like right where you're just like, okay what am i going to do with this yeah. how am i going to communicate to these people but what i liked what i like about that here is it takes out the potential downtime that you often get in code names while you're trying to think of a really good clue. 
right? And sometimes if you can't think of a really good clue, you take a lot of time because you're like, well, I don't want to waste a lame clue on that. What you don't get because of these cards is because you're stuck with whatever you have is that kind of creative moment of like, oh my God, these things like link or, or go together. But I think this is, I think this is a neat way to do that where you're, where you have to sort of triage the cards you have mm -hmm. and sort right. of deal what you have. And I think if we just stop double thinking ourselves, yes. sure, I mean, that's, sort of move. Well, it's true. I mean, there's definitely, but here's the funny thing is you're like, well, I feel that this, and, and I'm like, well, maybe, but I also felt like cookies all of a sudden seemed more artistic. So I, I, I definitely let that <laughs> down. I was very disappointed. Um, because, you know, I'm, I agree. Maybe I think we, flowers can be artistic as well. But yeah. I'm just, handsome, where is handsome? Exactly. Right? Yeah. That was and what I was saying. I think that I was just a I rough card. That. that was a tough, tough no, card. No, we should have... Well, handsome. Maybe we discussed her clues the thing. longest and talked ourselves out of them. It's possible. Yeah. How often so did we have often. the right choice and then we didn't pick it? I... Do you remember? Boy. Well, Cabbage Patch. An April Ca Fool's, right? I, and I, drove I, me and I thought, and the oh, funny thing is, is I had said it several times. Oh, we all said yeah. it so many times. Yeah. It was always yeah. in contention and just never like, the one. Well, well, you guys well, talked well, me into April point, Fool's for sure a couple it, times. Aaron said, "Well, maybe they're path. slow because they don't move," and I'm like, right. "Yes, yeah. right." <laughs> <laughs> yep, it totally they makes They are sense. not mechanical, they are not a car, they sit there, they yeah. only that's move right. when you move that's right. them. <laughs> yeah, that's totally, yeah. I didn't it's, hear that one, so there you go. <laughs> uh, you know, it didn't happen, I thought maybe it might, but it sometimes happens in these games where someone clues something and we get to it, and then that becomes like the thing that that's known for. Yes, right. Right? Like, for example, if... If we had gotten a Cabbage Patch Kids from like Nikki's slow card, then later if I had played like not, not fast, fast for this game only, you might have thought, well, does he mean cab if that was right. an option? Does right. he mean Cabbage Patch Kids? Like that can happen, which is it's kind of cool. Would you guys have made the leap to Garbage Pail Kids if I put Disgusting down? Well, because it's I put it, it's I know, cabbage. but I'm saying I probably put not it for that. Disgusting. Um, but wait, from George Washington, Fire right? Fire ants. It depends if Fire ants was in reach or not. Disgusting from where? Here. I think she's saying to go to Cabbage Patch. To get to from Cabbage where? Patch. Is from what George Washington. Yeah. From George Washington. Disgusting? Yes. I would have, well. Well, April Fool's Day. Uh, this is, this yeah, is yeah. an unfortunate yeah. combo. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's a bad combo. Because one of my thoughts was, well, you know, there were those garbage pail yeah. kid collector right. cards, sure. too, and they were pretty disgusting, but. But you might have to. Yeah. You, you, we might never get there. You right. might never get that one. Yeah. You have, my path only crossed itself on the final number. Mine never crossed. Mm. Did you and and cross? because of that, I kept forgetting that we could cross. I oh, mean, I kept yeah. forgetting. You're like, oh, that's right. Because my path didn't do it. I'm like, oh, hey, it's not doing it. Yeah, I, I think... Three and eight. Not even half. I think maybe like only a third of them. Mm. I, I don't know. I didn't go through the deck, but... Hmm. I will say that this is actually a little hard to visualize. Like some of the I, angles don't the seem angles right. Well, once I really just have it, to look at it from your perspective. Yeah, once I rotated it to my perspective, right. I got it. Yeah. yeah. But you're right, I had to do worried. that initially. I was lost at first. I actually had great clues if I had done this oh because I had hot for oh coffee. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And social media and fly. I mean, I had all four of these, right? Yeah. So I could have done the whole four. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to have every one of those. And I'm like, you're like, no, no, no this is where I'm like, oh, darn. So then it was like, I was, I was fine with that. I think, oh, if you started think, here, you were, you like had these three yes. for the first three? Yeah. Actually, that can't be right. Did I have intelligent? Maybe I didn't have intelligent right away. Maybe that was like a second or third turn. Now because I want to I I flip all like these over and see and play the coronavirus. Play again. Look at your path if these are the uh, oh, no. eggplant, Count Chocula, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Loch Ness. Man, I can't even get this out. Blowfish, oysters, oysters, beets, black hole, Forbidden City, Grim Sweet. Reaper. Or sweat. Sorry. Crown nose. Grim Reaper and vampires next oh, to each other. Oh, oh no, that's all right. So now look at your first few clues. I've got to go blowfish, leaning tower pizza. Wow, count chocolate. vampire count. Yeah, oh, oh, and Grim Reaper. Oh my god, yeah, and Grim Reaper. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Or, or fantastic. Blowfish. That could be great if you really like this game and you like and you're up for the challenge. Yeah, that is great. Lockness. Just almost try to build an impossible board. Clown. Yeah. Yeah. Vampire cow. next to vampire. Disease next to disease. Yeah, space thing next to space thing. <laughs> Being close to oh, each other. Clown nose and clowns. No way. <laughs> that's Holy incredible. Sweat. That's sweat. Great. 
The Loch game. Ness back next to well, Black, away from yeah. Black Hole. Let's put That's Tesla. so good. We'll put Tesla here. And, and we'll, Einstein. We'll, we'll put Is Edison it? here. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's why they're in there. Put trolls next to vampires. <laughs> <laughs> the game comes with uh, blanks, so you can write your own if you want. Nice. Oh, cool. So, I love it. It'd be cool How many more drawing, discs right? are there? Oh, there's quite a few. Oh, there's a lot. There's of at least three full boards. And, well, the game plays up to six. Wow. Oh, that was my there's next question. There's two more colors. Nice. So you see, there's these little spaces that start spaces on the board. You don't, you don't, you don't have to start on the space that's oh. your color. Mm -hmm. You just start on the space that's closest to you. Mine, mine, just by complete chance, happened to be the color I picked. But, gotcha. But it doesn't matter what the start space is, as long as you just pick one of the edges. Well, that's cool. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome, Aaron. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time.